Pro Stars have a very small charge air cooler. It's really tiny. It's only that big. It sits on top of the, uh, the radiator. The radiator is actually here. It's not behind it. And one important thing to know is that this hood shock, I don't know if you can see that in the video, uh, the hood shock that holds the hood. Whenever guys will open their hood to check their oil, if the hood shock is worn out and the hood bounces really hard, it yanks on this. And it actually yanks on the charger cooler. And it yanks it because it's the, the framing is not really thick enough to hold the weight of that hood well. So the, the outer, this outer uh, end piece on the charger cooler itself is holding all the weight of the hood. So when you yank on this and you bounce it all the time because you're lazy, it stresses this charge air cooler. And it cracks the charge air cooler down this side, down the, the driver's side, down the back side usually. And it just stresses, just cracks it. And so over time, the charge air cooler just gets stressed and cracked and stressed and cracked. It gets worse and worse, you start losing fuel mileage. You don't know where your fuel mileage is going. Well, it's because you're not taking care of your truck. So, you know, whenever you open your hood, if your hood shock's worn out, you gotta make sure you open it gently on these Pro Stars or replace your hood shock so that it goes open gently on its own. That's very important to know. One quirk I found about these things. So I figured I'd talk about that for a minute. So let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's go ahead and take the, uh, no, let's go ahead and take the, these things, they're going to be in our way. Let's go ahead and take these off, and then we'll take off what I call the elephant trunk, is the air breather, and we'll take this one off on the other side. Let's just get some of this stuff that's just always going to be in our way for working on the truck, uh, for doing this big job, so do that next. It's, uh, it's four bolts, they're 13 millimeters. You gotta get them from underneath. The 13s, you gotta get them from underneath. And then there's one in the corner there. Now mine cracked, so I've got a different bolt in the corner, but normally it's all 13s, right under here. So. You're gonna pull the tires, right? Uh, not sure, we might pull the tires off of it, we'll see. <laughs> 